Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson, serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years. Hi, I'm Cherry Johnson, and I want to introduce you to one of our partners. Now, this partner's not here in Watauga County, but she comes to Watauga County a lot. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually, I guess you're from Asheville? Asheville, yeah. yes. And this is Linda LaBelle. Linda is a staff member for Handmade in America. Uh, and that's how I got to know her anyway. Linda does a lot of things. <laughs> but, <laughs> and <laughs> really. And one of the ways that, well, how I got to know Linda <clears throat> was she was, um, coordinating or running uh, a whole bunch of uh, meetings uh, with some very awesome women. And let's talk about why they're awesome. Well, it's the AWE program or the Appalachian Women Entrepreneurship Program. Mm -hmm. It's for female members of Handmade in America. We're a 20-year-old nonprofit out of Asheville. And all of the women are very good at what they do, whether mm -hmm. they're artists or craftswomen. Um, they could be a woman wanting to start a business, making a transition, dreaming of starting a business, already have a business, but they need more business skills. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we do. I travel to seven counties running eight meetings a month. Mm -hmm. um, and the women just, you know, make great strides, and I get to hear their success stories, and it's very exciting. And you're, it's more than a meeting, too, because you have little mini work sessions in each one of them, don't you? Don't you have topics for each yes, one? Yes, each, mm -hmm. each meeting actually has a topic, and how we come about the topics is that I ask the women what they want, and each community of women might have different needs. Right. And so that's, I think, it, it keeps a lively meeting. Uh, it gives them ownership in the meeting mm -hmm. because it's mm -hmm. what they need. So, for instance, yesterday I was just down in Dillsboro, and we did a meeting on how to get your business on TripAdvisor. Okay. Right? That's interesting. I know, right? Hmm. So, and it always keeps me on my toes because uh -huh. I have to, you know. You have to go learn it. I have to go learn it. <laughs> um, today we have a meeting here at the Watauga Arts Council Blue Ridge Art Space, and actually one of my facilitators, Don Chitwood, will be doing it, and it's on how to craft a blog. That's cool, yeah. which is becoming a bigger and bigger deal. It is. It's mm -hmm. um, blogging, especially professional blogging as opposed to personal blogging or blogging for businesses getting bigger and bigger. Wow. Now, we partner with them because we host those meetings every month. And then in addition, which, by the way, let's go back and say they're on the last, the fourth Thursday. Fourth of, Thursday of every month. Fourth Thursday. Yes. Okay. Of every month at 1 o'clock. One from o 1 to 3. Yes. yes. From 1 to 3. And they're free the first time you attend. Exactly. And then after that, you can join. Join and, a and handmade. And the lowest level of membership would be fifty dollars okay. for a year, for all those meetings and, and all the other stuff. All too. the other benefits mm -hmm. of membership in Handmade, yes. Okay, and then another way that we partner with uh, Linda and Handmade in America is um, uh, Watauga County Economic Development Commission has been helping us sponsor some workshops for artists on that same kind of idea mm -hmm. of helping them to become more successful financially because we see artists as entrepreneurs and this is a very entrepreneurial community, very small business focused. Well, that's yeah. definitely what we're talking about. And so we partnered with Handmade in America and we this is the second time we've done this? Yeah, we did and, it last yeah. year and mm -hmm. we're doing it this year. with. And you. we brought in uh, four or five workshops yes that are targeted, that we select based on what we see as the needs and what we've polled other people to get for mm -hmm. the needs. So this time around, we're doing, let's see, we did one on social, a uh, two-parter on yeah. social media. For business, social right. media for business, mm -hmm. yeah. And then we're, uh, there's one on digital camera. Learning to love your up. digital camera. And uh, you've already missed Tonight? it by the time you see that. They, uh, they've already missed <laughs> oh, it <right>. now. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, next time. <laughs> and that's been really popular. We're, we're getting a lot of people Good. signing up for that Excellent. one. Um, last time we did one on how to price your work. Yes. We've done it on marketing things. We've done it on a, a big variety of, mm -hmm. of topics. You know, uh, Linda's going to be doing one. I think it's on the what date was that? It's the, April. I'm sorry, I don't have the date off the top of my head, but it's in April. You can contact Cherry. Yes, at the end of the month. Yes, and it's on um, artist portfolios, mm -hmm. which a digital and otherwise digital and otherwise. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about both, uh, mainly the digital portfolio because that's the way it's going today. Right. Uh, you don't need to carry a you know a portfolio case or around with you anymore. Or mail whatever. it. Mm -hmm. They really want to see something mm -hmm. a, a beautifully done portfolio online. Well, you know, in a small scale, the Arts Council does that already because, like, when our artists are applying for gallery exhibitions, mm -hmm. for example, we have an online application that they can fill out, or they can send it to us in paper. But right. but we, they send us digital images. We're not asking them for slides anymore. 
You know, yeah. there was a time when it was slides or photographs. Or a, or a yeah. CD, then you mm -hmm. had to mail in a CD. That doesn't right. exist anymore. And no yeah. more returning the CD to the artist and all <laughs> that <laughs> stuff, <laughs> so, which was always a hassle. <laughs> so so yeah. digital is becoming the wave of the future, and so exactly. you're showing them how to do that. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Now, do you know the April topic for the all meeting yet? Yes, it's going to be Canva. It's a, it's a very simple to use design program, fantastic program, it's free to download, mm -hmm. and uh, you can create uh, images for your Facebook page, your Instagram feed, your, you could create uh, business cards, postcards, mm -hmm flyers, whatever you want, but it's just a wonderful, it's, it's sort of, if you don't want to learn Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, you find those difficult, Canva is the answer to your That's graphic great. needs. That's great. <laughs> I may come sit in on that one. Yeah. It's <laughs> going to be a fun one. <laughs> but, uh, but Linda does so many different things. Now, you, you also, I said you do a lot of other things. Let's mm -hmm. talk about Linda for a minute. Okay. Uh, you own a business. I do. I own an online business, The Yarn Tree. I sell fine fiber or natural fibers, mm -hmm. fine yarns, and natural dyes. Okay, and you have a website? Yes, it's www.theyarntree.com. Okay, and you also um, have a Facebook page, I've seen I do, that, uh -huh. and Pinterest, yep. and all of these other things. She, well, she taught the social media class, what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> Twitter, I love social media. Yeah, Twitter and, and yep. Pinterest, yep. All, yep. all those different things. But then also, you have traveled the world, yes. and let's talk about why you did that. Well, I've been very fortunate. I have a small organization called Stories of Hope. I travel around the world, and I teach a craft-based edu uh, education to people in need to help lift them out of poverty. And I started it because uh, in 2006, I wrote a book. I was uh, approached by Random House Potter Craft. And while it was a beautiful book and it was an amazing experience, mm -hmm. it's also one of the most selfish experiences of my life because mm. everything was focused on the book, mm -hmm. getting the book written and the photographs. I traveled mm -hmm. all over the country and photographed and interviewed uh, hand dyers and you know wrote, worked with my students from my facility in Brooklyn to write the patterns and you know so it was very wow. hands-on very involved book um, and then when it came out I just felt like I was so selfish for that mm -hmm. period of time I needed to give back in a different way and I had always wanted to travel and teach I didn't know quite there's no job out there to do right. what I do mm -hmm. I had to kind of invent it so I first partnered with a nonprofit did a trip with them to Mexico um, and then just let the word get out there that I was looking to do this and I've been so fortunate I've worked in Mexico several times with the same group of 10 master artisans um, often I'll bring back to a culture uh, techniques that they've lost due to war strife wow. time the younger people leaving the villages uh, gentrification whatever and twice now I've been invited by the US embassies uh, once in Kazakhstan and once in Turkmenistan to work in their heritage program Wow. So that was pretty cool. How yeah. neat. <laughs> and, and the cool thing about it, if, if I'm reading what you've told me, and yeah. she and I have chatted on, on several occasions, is that you've kind of been self-employed pretty much all of your life for I the have. most part. Yeah. yeah. I've, I mean, I take jobs periodically. Obviously, I have this job with Handmade. But um, since I was very young, I have been a freelancer, and I've worked in many facets of the garment industry. I worked as a costume designer, uh, again, in kind of a particular niche where I costumed the sculptures and mm -hmm. films of artists as opposed to, you know, traditional Hollywood or something like that. So where did Linda start? Where, 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 where did all that begin? <laughs> I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> well, I grew up, I mean, my dad was a painter uh -huh. and both my parents were entrepreneurs. They each uh -huh. had us a, a, a small business and I think that's what... It was bred into It was you. bred into me. <laughs> and I don't know any other way to work. Uh -huh. I mean, I do work best on my own. <laughs> I've learned that, and I love the arts, and uh -huh. I, but I always, I'm always searching for something else, so I'm a, I have what I say, the mindset of a designer, mm -hmm. I want to know how to make it, how it's done, figure it all out, and then I, I can move on to the next thing, so I really work more as a designer as opposed to, say, a production artist. Okay. Right? Now, when you went to school, what did you go I to school I studied uh, fine arts and mm -hmm. graphic arts, uh -huh. and, and then I got a degree in textile design. So you didn't take any business degree? Well, all of the, I was really lucky. I mean, I, I did part of my studies in, in L.A., and the school I went to there, actually, we had to take business. That's, a, which that's is, unusual. It's unusual. Mm -hmm. Today, that's changed. I mean, a lot of the schools are now offering entrepreneurship programs within their schools. Finally. But they're not requirements. Yeah. 
and I think uh -huh. that they should be requirements. Um, for instance, I was just at a school and they've got a wonderful textile program, but none of the students understood the cost of what they were making. You know, the materials exactly. are just there. The machinery is just there. They don't understand mm -hmm. that when they leave school, they have to buy that equipment, they have to buy the materials, but there was no one saying, okay, if you're going to make X, how much is this going to cost you? Yeah. And how do you afford how a do you, big purchase but, like right. that? How do you get the, yeah, machine, uh -huh. the machinery? So students are still coming out of art schools, craft schools, without that entrepreneurial or business knowledge that they really need I think to you're succeed. right. And that's one uh, thing that arts this Arts Council is very focused on is helping artists to mm -hmm. become more successful. So that includes not just uh, you know the AWE program, which is right. fantastic. We offer them opportunities to exhibit their work and, and that kind of thing. But we also offer a whole series. You're, the workshops we've done with you are part of that it's part series. part of what you're doing, yes. But it's the business of art. And the idea is, again, like you're doing with AWE, is to get feedback from the artists about what am I needing, right. you know, and then find workshops that will meet that need. Whether it is how to negotiate a contract, mm -hmm. how to deal with your taxes, how to deal with your you know, bookkeeping, whatever, you know, whatever it is that an artist is struggling with, that's what we're hoping to do because like we're saying, they, most of them have no, little or no training in that right. beyond the school of hard knocks, you know, so. <laughs> no, it's true. Uh -huh. And I think they're all, you know, I always say this, uh, especially for my awe women, they're great craftswomen, mm -hmm. but they're terrible business women. Absolutely. And, so, and I know, see that all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've got to lift them out we, mm -hmm. because that, that gives them ownership. It gives them strength. It gives them confidence. And you see right. that, you know, you mm -hmm. see them change and you see them become more confident. Well, and they're just successful. Yeah. You know, that makes such a difference. Uh, the starving artist thing is a, is a kind of a <laughs> passe cliche in my opinion. Well, and it's not fun. <laughs> Believe me, I've been there. <laughs> school and my first degree was in art and you had a choice you could be a teacher or you could be a starving right. artist that was pretty much the choices and it's that's true you know yeah. today there are more options but it just really you know that needs to be struck out of our entire vocabulary right. because I really feel like number one it's not a good thing starving is not pleasant no. but number two it doesn't mean that if you're an artist that you have to starve Right, but, you exactly. Know, you can exactly. be a successful, you can, you can support yourself as an artist, but you have to go about it the right way. Yes, and you do have to make some sacrifices. It's yes, not like going into mm -hmm. a corporate job where you've got all the benefits. Right. You know, when you're, when you're a small business person, you're wearing every single hat. Mm -hmm. And you have mm -hmm. to understand that. And you mm -hmm. have to understand then how to, you know, structure your time. It's really important to be able to do that well um, and so that you don't feel so pressured. Right. And mm -hmm. you have to understand that even if it's art or craft, it's a business. Yes. It's still a business. Right. And, and that's hard for some of them to accept. Very, very, very mm -hmm. hard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They really don't want to hear that from no. me. <laughs> well, they, they purposely chose not to go into right. business. <laughs> now they find themselves backwards into business. Into business, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, so but, you know, but it's true. And, and that's one thing that, you know, Watauga County and this North well, all of Western North yeah. Carolina, but particularly up in this area, we've made a real emphasis. Uh, I know economic development folks have, and the general community, the chambers and all that, are making a big emphasis on small business because that yeah. is what really drives this community's economy. Uh, obviously, tourism has a big factor mm -hmm. in that, and the arts are a big part yeah. of, the, of the tourism. But all of that is, we don't have a lot of big industries sitting around pump and smoke into our atmosphere. You know, Instead, we have a lot of small businesses, and our artists deserve and should be a big mm -hmm. part of exactly. that climate. Yep. You know. And small business is what is the backbone of the United States. It's the mm -hmm. backbone of America. Mm -hmm. And I find that Western North Carolina has so much support for small business. It's right. just amazing to me. You know, if they reach out for it, it's there. Right. And everybody that's watching this, reach out for it. Well, Handmade has been around how long? How long 20 has years it been? this 20? year. Wow, it's been a mm -hmm. while. Okay. And, the, and I think the whole original concept of Handmade was to enable artists to make a living with exactly, their craft. Exactly, exactly. You know. um, our, our motto is that Handmade in America builds economy through craft. Mm -hmm. And they got a whole lot of grants, I know up front at least, uh, from economic resources right. for that purpose. Exactly, you know. yeah. We've worked with the NEA, the USDA, um, Wingate, Tides, I can go on and on. We've yeah. been very mm -hmm. fortunate. Even as grants are drying up, we are still 
mm -hmm. being supported by grants. Mm -hmm. We've also had to find a, an income stream, as every single organization has to do today. Right. We can't just depend on grants. Exactly. And, and these days, grants are getting scarcer yeah. and scarcer and more specified into certain niches and exactly. that kind of thing. Yeah. So, um, so it goes down to show that, you know, it's going to take a little hard elbow grease, but you can do it. You, you can know. do it. You can do it. And yeah. so we're offering the tools. That's what, that's what we're offering. Exactly our goal it. Is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, Please come to a meeting, um, always the fourth Thursday mm -hmm. of the month, one to three at the Watauga Arts Council Blue Ridge Arts Space. The first meeting is free, and I would love to see any woman entrepreneur want, entrepreneur want to be at our meeting. And the we craft forgot, lab, so oh yes, so the craft labs, which mm -hmm. um, Cherry did mention earlier, are different. Um, they're open to men and women, members and non-members of Handmade in America. They can be free or low cost depending on the location. And um, they are two-hour workshops. Uh, sometimes I teach them, but I often uh, send up facilitators mm -hmm. who are specialists in their field. So it can be, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, making it your way through the ethical quagmire or writing a contract or a social media for business, mm -hmm. which we just did, on and on. Just wonderful, wonderful workshops that will help people uh, and they're grow. not. Uh, you are obviously geared toward craft, which is visual art, right? But but the, these are applicable to everything. They're applicable to, any, they're applicable to all mm -hmm. parts of business, and I like having uh, other businesses at the table because it creates a whole new conversation, mm -hmm. a much more interesting mm -hmm. conversation. So whether you have a nail salon or you know you're a blacksmith, it's still you. Or you're a musician. Or you're a musician. It's mm -hmm. business. Business mm -hmm. is business. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we're doing, I want to just mention one more thing that we're doing that's brand new is a series of what we're calling extended workshops. Mm -hmm. So these could be, uh, take place over three or four sessions. Each session could be three to four hours long. Right. Uh, we're just finishing one up in Asheville now on how to build your own WordPress website. Cool. Which has been very mm -hmm. successful. We're doing one in Cherokee starting on April 14th on photography. So it's a three-part photography. And the first one uh, is going to be really fun. We're going to teach people how to use their digital camera, uh, you know, their point-and-shoot, mm -hmm. not their big fancy one, but a little point-and-shoot, uh, their smartphone or their tablet. How oh, to take great yes. pictures great. of your product and how to build mm -hmm. three points of light out of things you'd find around your house. That is fantastic. Because <laughs> that's, be that's the tools we're really using. Exactly. That's what yeah. everybody's mm -hmm. using. And mm -hmm. not everybody can afford a big, fancy, schmancy DSLR camera. Or wants camera to carry it around. Or wants to carry it around. Mm -hmm. So you, if you can learn how to use your cell phone to make take a great picture, you're all set. Now, don't you have a conference coming up? We do. We have a very important conference coming up. Thank you for asking. Uh, it's May 13. It's the AWE Conference, the Appalachian Women Entrepreneur Conference. This is uh, our fourth year, I believe, putting it on, my third and it's going to be at the Hellen Morris Hellenic Cultural Center in Asheville, May 13th from 8 a.m. until about 6.30 p.m. Registration for all members, handmade members, is free. And for the public, women, uh, it's only $15. And you can go to our website, handmadeinamerica.org, and sign up. We have a few spots left. But it's the uh, conference theme this year is micro-business in the 21st century. Wow. And we've got wonderful breakout consultants. We have a lawyer who will talk to you, a woman to talk to you about profitability, uh, an emerging award-winning designer will talk about her early years. <clears throat> Dorothy Clark is our keynote speaker, mm -hmm. an amazing woman who's a performer. She had a business doing tax consulting. She's studying to become a minister and just this dynamic Jeez. woman who's going to address be our keynote speaker. All of us are, are starting to feel overwhelmed with all these things people right? are doing. Right, and lunch is free. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you mentioned something I want to bring back up before we close, yep. and that is that the benefits of being an all member, mm -hmm. because she just said that conference is free if you're an all member. Yep. Also, I should mention that the, the workshops that we partner in are also free to all members. Yep. Now, other members, other folks will pay, depending on whether you're an Arts Council member or not. There's a different rate for each. But uh, if you are an all member, it's free. It's free, yeah. And so your fifty dollars, it's not doesn't take too long to get that back and more. And more, mm -hmm. because we also just for the, only for the all members, we exhibit twice a year at the I twenty six West Welcome Center. The show is up for six months mm -hmm. at a time. While you cannot, they cannot sell from there. We put all the contact information necessary, so pieces do sell. Mm -hmm. And 280,000 visitors pass through that Welcome Center wow. every year. So you, a lot of people get to see mm -hmm. your work. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Yeah. You build a name for yourself. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so we, you know, we put up beautiful little co name cards with your contact info. We have a sheet with our contact info mm -hmm. so people can get hold of us. We do our Cool Craft Market. And again, 
for all members and handmade members, uh, it's a discounted rate for the tables for the market. Right. Uh, we put out the notice to the members first mm -hmm. before the general public. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. So you treat them like P, uh, special characters. VIPs. VIPs. That's what I was trying to think of, VIPs. VIPs. So, well, I hope that you realize just how much you're doing for so many people. Oh, well, thank you, Because it's really impressive, everything that's uh -huh. happening, you know, through, not just through Handmade, but also your own, your, your, your mission and the whole thing Thanks. you're doing with, with your worldwide stuff. I mean, it's all just so impressive. So I'm, I'm very impressed. I'm so glad I got to know you. Well, thank you. And thank I'm you. hoping that you're going to come get to know her. Uh, I encourage you to do that. You can sign up for the uh, portfolio workshop, even if you are not interested in becoming an all member. Exactly. You can still do that workshop. Or if you're a male and you don't qualify by gender to be in that particular group, then you can yes. still be in that yes. workshop. And so there's a lot of opportunities. So come and get involved with that. Our website has a lot of this information on it and links to other information. Uh, please check it. It's watauga-arts.org. We'll be seeing you there. Thank you. Watauga Arts Council with your host, Cherry Johnson serving arts in Watauga County for more than 30 years.